Hi students, in this video we are going to learn exercise number 3.6, question number 2, second problem. Our question is, 2 men and 5 men can together finish an embroidery work in 4 days, while 3 women and 6 men can finish it in 3 days. Find the time taken by 1 man alone and 1 woman alone. Both are asking in the question. So finally our question is, how many days will be taken by 1 woman and 1 man is our question. So let us assume first. Let one woman finish the work in X days, we will assume it. Finish the work in X days. So, we are going to assume one woman going to take X days. Same way, let us assume one man can finish the work in Same way we are going to take another variable. Let us take y days. So one man can finish in y days. One woman can finish in x days. Now we have to calculate for one day. One day means for example. So students listen. Suppose for example. Example I am saying. One woman is taking to complete the same work in 10 days. Totally she is taking 10 days to complete the work. In first day. In one day, how much work will be completed by the woman we have to think. Definitely that is 1 by 10. The second day, how much work it will be completed by her? Not 2 by 10. Then third day, it will be 3 by 10. That is a part of the work will be completed within a day and the second day, third day. Then at the end of the 10th day, the 10 by 10 work will be getting completed. So that is the thing we have to think over here. So how many days they are taking totally? In that we have to take the reciprocal that is 1 by 10. The first day in 1 day 1 by 10. The next day 2 by 10 how it is coming now 1 by 10 plus 1 by 10 we are getting the 2 by 10. So each and every day they will be completing 1 by 10 work. That is a, that is the theme of the problem actually. Here we have taken one woman can finish the work in x days. So in one day how much work she will be completing we must know that. So work of one woman in one day so how much work she will be completing in one day i should find out totally she is taking x days so in first day she will be completing one by x so that is the thing same way work of one man in one day we have to write so totally one man is taking y days to complete the work in first day how much work he will be completing definitely one by y so this is a work of one woman and one man in one day so in our question they have given us Two women and five men can finish together work in four days. So totally they are taking four days. In the first day how much work will be completed by them means one by four work will be completed in the first day. Here now we are going to first two men, five, two women, five men, four days. That is a given question. So for the hint I am writing here. Two women, five men will be completing the work in 4 days. This is a given question actually. Now, actually one woman will be completing in one day is 1 by x. So, two women, two women if you are substituting here you have to take 2 by x. So, two women work in one day is 2 by x plus 5 men. 5 men here, 1 men, 1 by y. So, 5 men what you should take? 5 by y work. So, 5 by y work will be completed by 5 men in one day. Then what is the total work completed by these people in one day? That is actually they are taking 4 days. We are calculating for one day right. So we have to take 1 by 4. So totally they will be taking 4 days. For one day it will be 1 by 4 we have to take. So this is our first equation. So second equation we have to go back to our question again. While 3 women and 6 men can finish it in 3 days. 3 women, 6 men, 3 days. So 3 3 women, 6 men will be in 3 days. This is a question given. Now, for 3 women I have to take. For 3 women, 1 day work will be 3 by x. For 6 men, 1 day work will be 6 by y. Which is equal to, totally they will be taking 3 days to complete the work. In 1 day, the work will be 1 by 3. So, this is my second equation. Here, all the variable are given in the denominator. So normally we should solve the equation. So let us assume now 1 by x we are going to take it as a 
and 1 by y we are going to take it as b. Now we are going to substitute here. So let us take the equation here now. Actually our equations what we are getting is 2 by x plus 5 by y which is equal to 1 by 4. Second equation what we got is 3 by x plus 6 by y equal to 1 by 3. So for a reference I have copied here again. Now we are going to substitute 1 by x is a. So 2 by x will become 2a. So this equation we can write it as 2a plus 5b. So 5b equal to 1 by 4. So the same way second equation. So 1 by x we are going to take it as a. So this is 3a plus 6b which is equal to 1 by 3 we have taken. Now you can go for cross multiplication with this one. Otherwise we can solve it directly. I want to cancel my a value. So this is my first equation. This is my second equation. So to solve. So the first equation I should multiply by 3. So I can get the 6 here. Again my second equation I have to multiply by 2. Then I can get the 6 also here. Then first then we can cancel the a. That's why we are doing first equation I am going to multiply with 3. So 3 into 2 6a. 3 5s are 15b which is equal to 3 into 1 by 4 3 by 4. Second equation I should multiply with the 2 then only I can bring the 6 here. So second equation is multiple by 2. So 2 3s are 6a and 2 6 are 12b and 2 into 1 by 3 will give you 2 by 3 right as it is. Now we are going to uh, do the cancellation both are plus we cannot cancel change the sign minus minus here also it will become minus 6a and 6a will get cancelled 15b minus 12b will give you 3b which is equal to we are getting 3 by 4 minus 2 by 3 we are getting now so here 3b is equal to here we should take the lcm so 3 3s are 9 4 2s are 8 by 4 3s are 12 so what we are getting is 1 by 12 so 3b is equal to 1 by 12 we are getting now multiplication 3 if we take it into other side it will become division. So b is equal to 1 by 12 into 3. So 12 3 is 36. So b value is 1 by 36 we are getting. So let us substitute the b value to get your a value. So substitute b in any one of the equation. Let us substitute in first equation. Sub b in first equation. What is my first equation here? 2a plus 5b which is equal to 1 by 4. Now take this 2a as it is plus 5b 5 into b value we got 1 by 36 and which is equal to 1 by 4. Now 2a plus 5 ones are 5 5 by 36 is equal to 1 by 4. So the plus number if I am taking it into other side it will become a minus number. So 2a is equal to 1 by 4 minus 5 by 36. For 36 and 4 we can take the LCM. So 2a 4 and 36 my LCM value is 36 only. So this is 4 into what number will give you 36 we have to think over it. So 4 into 9 will give you 36. So here also I should multiply by 9. Here also I should multiply by 9. So 9 minus already 36 available. Write the 5 as it is. Now 2a is equal to we are getting 4 by 36. Again 4 table I can cancel 1 time 9 time. What we are getting is 1 by 9. Actually we are getting 2a is equal to 1 by 9. I want only the a value so the multiplication 2 will go down. So 1 by 9 into 2 we are getting. The answer is 1 by 18. So what we are finally receiving is a is equal to 1 by 8 we got and we got b is equal to 1 by 36. So actually our question is on the variable x and y. So a we have taken as 1 by x that is our assumption. So we have taken a as 1 by x which is equal to 1 by 18. B value we have assumed as 1 by y. So 1 by y is equal to 1 by 36. So here my x value is equal to 18. Here my y value is 36. So you can do the cross multiplication you can write or we can directly we can write it by equating. So x is nothing but what we have assumed. One man can finish the work in. One woman and one man we have taken. One man, one woman can finish it in finish the same work in x 18 days same way one man can finish the work in 36 days so that is your correct solution
सो थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग इफ यू लाइक आवर वीडियो सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियोस